How you doing, VC? This is Gary from the Vinyl Dungeon, and today, uh, for my second video, I'd like to give you a tour of the dungeon and show you some of the equipment I use. Um, and I uh, just got back from the Goodwill over in Chambersburg, which is about uh, 15 miles away. <clears throat> Picked up uh, some CDs and a couple, like three cassettes, Steely Dan, Miles Davis, and Chicago. Um, but I figured I'd give you a tour of my room here, so uh, let's get started. Here I have my, um, what I call my listening station. I have a Mac for my uh, uh, media downloading, and uh, I have uh, an Onkyo, the 8270, 100 watts per channel, and I also have an uh, Onkyo 6 disc changer. And old techniques that I picked up at the Goodwill for like 12 bucks. Cassette deck. Um, I have A and B channel on this. So on the B channel, I have a pair of uh, ELAC speakers. They sound really nice if anybody's ever uh, listened to them. You know what I'm talking about. But uh, over here, I have um, a pair of RB81 Series 2s. They're the ones with the front port, and they sound fantastic. And then here's the other one. And here is where I clean my records when I bring them in. I stack them in the rack. Um, it's a vacuum system, and I made up a little formula that I use for cleaning them. And uh, I clean them real good, and I don't know if any of you guys use a vacuum system, but uh, they are well worth the money. You can take a noisy record and clean it right up with that thing really does a great job on cleaning and then above that I have one of my CD racks um, I've got two of these um, don't have as many CDs as I do vinyl coming over here this is my uh, country this little section right there there's some of my box sets uh, there it starts a goes on down goes across, they're all in alphabetical order. And uh, up at the top, comes across and down. And um, let's see, what else can I show you here? Oh, there's some box sets up here too. And these are some of my um, cars that I purchased at different rallies uh, riding my Harley. I, Used to go on rallies all over the country and pick up uh, cars and whatever happened to be showing. Same thing over here. Um, some of those there. And there's Harley signs and stuff. But uh, here's some of my um, headphones on top here. I have a large, uh, large selection of headphones. They're all over the house. Um, that's a dark voice. Uh, tube preamp for the headphones which I have connected to the uh, computers for uh, playing media online and um, let's see and the reason I call it a dungeon is that I gotta have to have a space heater there if I want to stay warm the guy I didn't build this basement and the person that did it made one heat vent so it gets a little chilly down here and I guess I'll show you the music part of the uh, room over here. This is my main listening. Um, I have a music hall, MMF 5.1 SE, with a uh, Orifon bronze cartridge and acrylic platter. And you go down, and um, here I have an Adcom um, CD player. Below that, I have a Marantz um, cassette deck, um, double cassette, real nice setup. And then here is my Macintosh receiver. And they are powered, that's a preamp, and um, they were powered by Adcom amps. Um, when I listen to my music, I have a subwoofer hooked up. And there, there's the subwoofer. And um, on the B channel, again, I play A and B channel. 
on the B channel, I have these um, Fluence speakers. They uh, they sound really good. And these, this is um, quad. These are British speakers. I have them for the rear channel of my surround sound. Um, and over here is the other rear channel, and there's the other Fluence. Uh, here's some picture desk. Um, Prince Green Day. Um, this is uh, Easy Rider picture. It's on a board. It's really cool. A good friend of mine I used to work with knew I was into to the uh, movie and gave me that. He purchased this over in Japan back in the 80s. Um, and uh, uh, it's my pride and joy. Uh, he was a good friend to give me something like that. And here's my other rack of uh, CDs. Starts with A in the corner here and goes across. And there's a couple more headphones. Most of all of them are um, Sennheiser. And over here, uh, this is uh, my other, I bought two of these online. They're audio, um, American audio. I got them off a of DJ and uh, Orderfine sponsored him. And the story he gave me was Orderfine took these um, uh, uh, decks and kind of rebuilt them and made them better. Um, the motor in them are real strong. It's stronger than the uh, Technics uh, 1200, SL1200 series. There's a 60 inch plasma. And uh, I'm gonna get a, uh, I'm putting in a home theater as soon as that TV goes on to blink, which it's probably 10 years old, so I'm sure it won't be long. Here's the center channel, I got a Polk. Uh, left and right, I got RTI 8s, and these are the A channel on my listening um, uh, part of my stereo over there. And these are the um, JBL uh, 580s, Studio 580s. They sound incredible. I don't know if anybody's had an opportunity to listen to those, but they are great speakers. And this is an MCS receiver i got this in the 70s late 70s i believe but uh it's if you know anything about uh modular component systems they were made by techniques but it's got incredible sound even today and that's just the onkyo uh six this uh, i have a a denon um blu-ray player which also plays my um sacds i got a dac right there that's nice and all my i got a denon receiver there that i use for my surround sound system and i got three amps power in my 7.1 channel system um kenwoods and okio for the rear i think the kenwoods are like 150 but it sounds incredible it shakes the whole basement and uh here's my sub it's an accutech and uh, very inexpensive and works really good. Shakes the whole house. Um, what else can I show you here? Uh, yeah, these are my um, high speakers. They're just a pair of Polk. Um, right there and right there. And there's my grandfather clock. And there's another Easy Rider. And this is my uh, Golden Retriever that I had years ago and was the best dog I ever had. And uh, she was quite a sweetheart and no longer with us. Uh, this is my lab that I had right before uh, Golden. And uh, as you can see, he's quite the man. He was about 115 pound lab and he wasn't really fat. <laughs> he was a English lab which he was had a shorter legs and the big chest and the big head. But uh, gentle dog, it was a poster I got out at Milwaukee when I was with the hunter anniversary. And uh, I guess that's about it. Oh yeah, I didn't show you. These are my um, uh, middle channels speakers. Um, they're bipolar, you know, with the uh, speakers on both sides. They really sound good. Um, let's see, that's my grandson. I wanna, motorcycle I bought him 
when I first got him out, he thought he was the man. <laughs> but uh, that's about it. There's my, there's the captain chair. <laughs> but uh, the system really sounds nice down here. With it's got acoustic tile ceilings, and uh, it really does sound good down here. Um, very happy with my system. Okay. Uh, I guess I have to just wrap it up here and I uh, hope everybody has a great day. It's get, We're getting ready to get this Arctic blast that's coming in. Um, it's uh, supposed to get down to single digits and wind chill of like minus 20. So it's going to be cold. Okay, guys. Have a great day.